I've never seen this before. <laughs> and it smells so good. Like all the cheese and the, look at that. Kenny Rogers got nothing on this. Mm. I'm here in Dallas and I saw this amazing dish where this Korean restaurant takes a whole wood fired chicken, they roast it for a couple of hours and then they put it on this corn cheese and underneath all of that, they have this bed of amazing crispy toasted nudongji. Oh man, just the idea of this thing, I was like, I gotta try it. We're gonna go in, see how they make it, and I'm gonna tell you how it is. So it's a, it was a franchise concept that started in Korea and it opened in Dallas. It uh, looked like it would be really well in America mm -hmm. because uh, here people love cheese and corn. Oh uh, yeah, and yeah, then, I do. Course, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody loves that like burned rice that's just a little bit crispy, a little bit hardened. And yes. How long does it cook, the chicken? We marinate it okay. uh, overnight and then uh, we keep it in the free, uh, refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then in the morning we take it out and then uh, we put it into the wood fired oven. Then we cook it in there for one hour and 30 minutes to two hours, and then we take it out. I've never seen this before. <laughs> and it smells so good, like all the cheese and the, look at that. Wow, it's super tender, just easily, I can use, wow, look at that. Comes apart really nicely. It makes sense in Dallas, because you got cheese, you got corn, you got chicken. Sort of like a, like a southern chicken dinner. Man, that is absolutely beautiful. There's something that's just so appealing about rice that's been perfectly crisped like this and the texture that you get. So I'm gonna pull some apart. I almost don't need the chicken because this is so freaking perfect. The closest thing that I can relate this to is like when you get a Detroit style pizza and the cheese on the edges are kind of burned with the crust and it just becomes this amalgamation of carb and melty cheese and awesomeness. And the corn gives like little little pockets of sweetness. As I eat other a lot of other Korean foods like bibimbap that comes in a stone bowl, the bottom is the part that's really the best. Um, and that crispy, hardened, toasted, or even burnt rice is just, the texture is perfect. They're pulling the rice out of the chicken because they actually roast it like samgyetang with the rice inside. And so it's already cooked. It's this amazing thing that happens once it hits this pan and they flatten it out and it's really allowed to crisp. So I'm gonna just try some of the chicken. I love how tender it is. It just falls apart with your chopsticks. Try the, um, let's try the leg here. Beautiful. And then you can tell this is a small bird. I mean, they say it's a, a little under three pounds. But in Korea, their chickens are actually almost half the size. They're really, really small chickens. They're almost like the chickens I go into Samgyetang, the Cornish game hens. But this is Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. That's super juicy. Maybe like a whiff of the, of the wood that's flavoring this chicken. I love that, you know, as soon as you walk into the restaurant, there's this open part of the kitchen where you can see the chickens on the rotisserie with flame, with wood fire there. You know what you're getting into. I'm gonna try some of this skin. It's nice and seasoned. The, the, the chicken is not like overly briny or like salty. Even though there's a lot going on outside of it, the chicken is, is just a very well composed rotisserie chicken. Mm. Damn, that's good. Mm. This is just really fun. So they have the spicy version here. So this is even more gnarly because on top of the cheese and the corn and the, the wood rotisserie chicken, they basically put like bakboki seasoning and actual rice cakes on top of this. I love how this super hot stone bowl has created this like moat of cheese. Mm. Mm. That reminds me of childhood. Love the poke. Let's try some of the chicken here. Mmm. That's <laughs> so good. And I'm just gonna wrap the oyster with the nudongji and the cheese. I hope my doctor doesn't see this. Oh. 
Wow. I'm so happy we came here. Kenny Rogers got nothing on this. Mmm. I didn't know what to expect because I hadn't been here before, hadn't tried this dish, hadn't even heard of it. I'm sitting down, enjoying these Nurongji chickens, taking them apart and like finding the choice parts of the, of the burnt rice. It's so satisfying. Thanks so much for watching and if you want to see more of my chicken videos, click right here.